Okay, I've got my pictures all edited and ready to upload. I was able to go through and highlight each one, edit them using Photoscape, the one that is my favorite tool. I, I have Photoshop, but I, I like using Photoscape better. It lets me crop. And in these photos, I actually used a baby blue um, foam board for the background, and they came out really nice. So my next step, after my photos are ready, I started to research them on Terapeak is the site that I use the most often. Not all the time, but the most often. So in Terapeak, I first put in Thomas Edison cylinder. And I was able to find, uh, it looks like the average price on uh, with 131 listings, using those three words, is $74.41. However, our, mine is a little different. However, um, a box lot of them with 42 sold for $208. So there's not a huge markup, a huge demand in just a cylinder. Although here is one that sold for $191. And they actually did an auction. They started it at, now I'm going to go in and see what they started this auction at, what price. And I can do that by looking at the completed listings, and then I'm going to go click on the number of bids, and the lowest starting bid was $5.95. So that was pretty risky in my book, but it worked out for them. The next thing I'm going to pay attention to is what category they put this in. When I have a high dollar item, I want to try and get the most exposure. I'm going to list it in two categories. So this one is going in under collectibles, radio, photograph, phonograph, TV, phone, phonographs. And then there actually is Edison phonographs. And that's the category I'm going to list it in. So I started um, listing it also under collectibles, autographs, science, inventor. And I found that that's also a successful category. So I'm going to list it in both of those categories. Now my next job is to get my title in place. I've got my photos ready. And I'm going to um, write the description. Now I'm also searching Thomas Edison signed. Because I want to get an idea what his autograph is going for. Or what it's been selling for. And this will give me a, a more realistic idea on what to expect and what kind of starting price I should go with versus, all right, let's see. Now, the thing is, the top three, like here's one, um, Thomas Edison stock certificate. It was listed at $3,200, and it looks like it sold for $2,200. So they had... Um, a high price with make an offer, and that was what the offer was that it ended at. Now that's another reason why I like Terapeak, because we can actually read the actual ending values, where on eBay they don't actually reveal that. Now it looks like, now these all had one bid, one or one, one offer. So here's one, uh, again, a signed letter. They did used an auction and started at $5, and it sold for $1,172. That was pretty darn good. Once Here's a signed card. They started at $9.99. It sold for $787. Here's a signed um, a lease, some kind of a lease. They started at $0.99. It sold for $722. Here is a rare signed check. They started the bid at $499.99 and it sold for $635. So taking a look at the statistics, here's another one that sold, started at $580 and they received $600 with three bids. Now I Look, based on my research on all of this, my my feeling is I'm going to go ahead and start this at based on the cylinder runs about two hundred dollars on a good day without an autograph, 
autographed items on a good day are running anywhere on a good day anywhere from 700 six well 520 up there's some going less so I'm gonna go ahead and start this to get the ball rolling at an auction I'm gonna run it for a week and so that it'll end a week from today because today's Sunday otherwise I might have started on Thursday but I'm gonna go with today and I'm going to start it at now this one ended at 191.50 I'm gonna go ahead and start mine at $250 as an auction and we're gonna roll the dice so let me go ahead and get that set up 